require us getting out of our comfort zone. It could require us to do things that are not usual or, or expected or even asking God, what for? I don't understand this purpose in this. Why would you allow this? Why would you lead me into this situation? It could be various things. It could be faith or stepping out and say, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice bold generosity and giving to somebody. It could be faith for being a bold witness to, to someone that God keeps putting in your path to, to reach out and share the good news of Jesus Christ. It could be faith in the midst of a, a difficult battle ahead. It could, he, he, no, no matter what it is, he is, he is leading you. He, he is there with you. But I also love this. As we see in that psalm, it says that, that uh, he, he leads us, but his goodness and mercy follows behind us. That, that song, goodness, mercy, running after me, the goodness, the goodness of God song, which we're going to sing at the end. Very fitting. His goodness and mercy follows us. It comes behind us. It's not just him we're going wherever he leads us. That in and of itself would be great and wonderful. But man, his goodness and mercy follows behind us wherever we go. Yes. No matter what, the great shepherd will lead us to the other side. Amen. Number three, the third lesson. And water and grow and see it produce much fruit. It says, and other seeds fell into the good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. See, the good ground portrays the one who hears, who understands, and receives the word of God. And then allows the word to accomplish its result in his life. The man represented by the good ground is the one of the four who is truly saved because salvation's proof is fruit. This person that understands and accepts the seed, the message and then embraces it, and then it grows, and it because it's watered, and it produces fruit. Every one of us in this room, whether you're here or watching, joining us online, are capable of being the good soil. It only takes willingness to accept and understand the truth. Hearing and understanding God's word is the way that we renew our minds. It's the way that we become more like Christ and less like the world. Those that truly hear and understand and live this out, the word of God that is, become fruitful. And Romans 12 says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. 